I got it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Where's you? <laughs> Biff, baby. Oh, that gets the back to the school. That Biff. I seen this one at the uh, unicorn. Shut up. Don't touch it. It's mine. I don't want it. I'm just saying I've seen it. It's mine. I don't care. We're going to back to the future cartoon joint. The animated. Look. animated what's up guys my name is nessie this is no box damage thank you again for tuning in for another video if you are a subscriber if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing so today um i got pretty lucky and came across some stuff i've been looking for not just one thing i came across quite a few things that i've been looking for so you know I, i'm pretty happy today all right today we're doing back to the future I got some pops, I got a pop and tea, I got some NECA figures that I've been looking for. Not all the NECA figures, I didn't want all of them, but I got the ones that I've been looking for. So we're going to unbox those, and we're going to look at these pops and this tea. So stick around. If you're, in the back to, if you're a Back to the Future fan, then you're in the right spot today. Alright, here we go. Before we start, I will say that I saw the Diecast uh, DeLorean by NECA. And the box was pretty trashed. I didn't really uh, care about that because I was definitely going to take that out. But, uh, I don't know. I just ended up not picking it up. Uh, maybe if I had my new bookshelf and my new setup, then I probably would have picked it up to display on top of it. Uh, with, with maybe Pops or whatever. Or NECA figures. But, I didn't. I ended up passing on it. I don't know. Maybe I can try again later if I, if I feel the need to, to go for it. Alright, so today we have... First off, have the Walmart exclusive Doc and Einstein. Pretty fire. Didn't expect to see this. Uh, I just saw it online for pre-order or something like that. Didn't expect to see this. So I'm really, really happy that I did. He's got the, the timer with the time on it. Um, and the dog has a timer on his neck. And it looks like he's one minute faster than the dog uh so that's pretty that's a really really cool detail i've been seeing a lot lately a lot of these pops uh funko has been throwing in like little small details um kind of like the nycc comic book man you can see the guy on the comic book the, the whoever i think it's bongo you see the character on the comic book um but they're using like little bitty stickers like little tattoo type stuff to get it across instead of just painting it I guess you could just apply that on there. So I really, I really like it. Really, really like it. So I'm really glad to add this one to my collection. There's um all these commons. A bunch of these commons I do not want. Uh, I really just want like the future stuff. I don't really care about like the the 1955 Marty where he's got the skateboard or the Marty with glasses. I would like Doc with helmet. I really, really want Doc uh, 2015. I don't care for Marty. With Puffy West, Puffy Vest, yes, his vest. Mar Morty in future outfit, I want, but I want the Charted exclusive one because that's the color his hat should be. Not this silver thing. I don't know what that's about. And Biff, I almost got the common Biff today, but I passed on it. Because um, I know I can get it later. Uh, maybe Chalice. I think Chalice might have like a full set or something like that. Like I, said, I, just, I don't want all of them, so. Whatever, I kind of just want the exclusive ones and three, maybe four of the common ones. So, we have that. That's awesome. And then, we have the Back to the Future Pop and Tea. Uh, they only had extra large at, at the Walmart I went to, but they had like maybe 10, 12 of them. Um, so, I grabbed two. Uh... Because I think I know this is going to be a really, really popular pop, and maybe I'll trade it later, or um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to shrink the shirt down so I can wear it because it's an XL. But um, you know, in the back. So I really, I think this Biff is going. This Biff is going to have to come at some point because he's got a, his little his little hoverboard too. Uh, and I mean, honestly, he's already they made him into a pop right here. So it's kind of like a to me, it's a dead giveaway. It's a heads up. So you guys. Uh, look for that Biff later on in the future. It's gonna be that's that's gonna be pretty awesome. I, I feel like it's gonna be exclusive to somewhere, uh, maybe a con, because this is a lot of lot of fire detail going on there. 
Uh, but this is what it looks like. The T. Got the hoverboard going on. And then the pop right there. He's holding on to the hoverboard. And he's got the, the Nikes on. Literally with Back to the Future. Anything with this hover that has to do with the hoverboard and the Nikes. I want. I'm into. That's that's so fire to me. So like the the spacesuit, the yellow spacesuit. No, I don't want that. It's like a hazmat suit or something. I don't want that at all. Um, but like I said, the 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 um, the Morty with the futuristic outfit. He's got the he's got the Nikes on. He's got the hat. I want it. So any Morty like that, I want. I don't. I don't care about the the common Morty's with uh. When he's just you know before that he got the skateboard instead of the hoverboard. I don't. Want it. It's pretty big, but like I said, maybe I try to shrink it down or something. Pretty dope, in my opinion. And then here's the pop. I really really like this pop, man. This is really really nice. He's got the shoes down there, hoverboard. It's really dope. You got the rest of them on the back. Definitely think this is going to be. Um, I definitely think this is going to be a valued uh, pop. I, I really want the one where he's on the hoverboard. That one is an older one, and that one is pretty pricey. But I feel like this is this one does it justice to because he's got the Nikes on the hoverboard. It's kind of the same thing. He's just not floating on it. The other one, he had like they had like the clear stand on it under it, so it gives the illusion that he's floating on it. But I really really like this. Now, one of the dopest boxes that NECA has done window boxes. If you know the movie, you know that this is the almanac. That Biff, that Biff got so he could get rich and stuff and know everything uh, in the future. That's the almanac right there. So dope that they made that into a box. I love when NECA does that. Oh yeah, it says 35, I guess, anniversary, 35th anniversary. So, it's a picture of Biff. And then you got an extra head. You get the almanac. Some hands. Uh, you get um, a bill to his car when his car got messed up. You get a Saturday night dance thing, whatever that is. And you also get the safe. That's pretty cool. You get the safe that he put the that he kept the book in, so no one can steal it from him. That's pretty cool. And this this is young Biff. So there is an older Biff. I mean, they don't have an older Biff. Uh, figure but you know the movie he there was an older Biff that gave the, the book to the younger Biff um, so what's this for so yeah down here at the bottom it shows all of them all of the, the Back to the Future figures there's the Marty in that hazmat suit thing I was talking about I don't want that's the regular one there's the futuristic I really really want this doc he looks really really good and then there's Biff that dog scope is really amazing. It looks like he looks just like uh, the, uh, the 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 actual actor. And then this one, if you know, if you've seen the regular Marty before he before with that, that's not the futuristic suit, the regular one. This cover is different. It doesn't have Doc in it. It just has Marty. It's the car with Marty, Marty, and uh, I think he's. I'm not sure if he's wearing the. The, the same outfit, but I know Doc isn't in it, but it's the same pose and stuff. But, um, so that's cool how they did that. And there we have it. My main want from this, this line. He's got the shoes on. He's got the hat. The hoverboard. It's also another piece of the hoverboard, so you can pose him. You can stand on it. He's got another head. He's got the Pepsi, the futuristic Pepsi. And he's got the little container that it came in. I don't understand why they did the container that it came in. But uh, that's there. And then you got a hand. And that thing is... I 
gonna be honest, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that thing is. And then you have Oh, this is dope. I think this is um this right here is a clear piece. I think this is like a platform so you can make him you can pose him on here when you put the, the foot part. So we're gonna open it up and check that out and see if that's that's the case. But this none of these pictures show none of these pictures show what this uh what this purple thing is right here. I don't know. He only gets one extra hand. That's weird. Oh, maybe that goes down and then you put the plastic piece on it to hold the hoverboard. Or maybe that... We're going to find out. Alright. And there he is on the back. He's got his futuristic hat. Okay. So, let's open him up. Alright guys, so before we get into the NECA figures, let's look at the pops a little bit closer. His dock with Einstein. You can see the time. He's got 121 on his timer. And uh, it's kind of hard to see Einstein as the sticker's kind of blocking it. But you can see it on the side art. He's got the time on his neck. Doc's got the 121 on the timer. It pops from the wave. Need that one. Need that one. Need that one. Maybe need that one. The other three, I pass. And here's the pop from the pop and tee. It's got the Nike zone. It's got the hoverboard. Really, really glad I was able to get this. Really, really glad. Really like it a lot. Already with hoverboard. Okay. And the pop with the tee. That Biff is going to be sick when it releases. I know it's going to. There's no way. There's no way that doesn't release. And since they already have Marty on the board, they might drop Biff on the board. And that's going to make it a sellout. It's definitely going to be a sellout. The T. A little bit more from the T there. You can see the pop a little bit clearer. All right. So, now we got that stuff out of the way. Let's do Biff first with the Almanac. It's really dope. Okay. So you got the window. I don't think I'm going to display them right away. I'm just going to take them out so we can check them out. And then I'll put them back. But I'm not going to display them right away until I get like a, a new setup where I can display some more movie stuff. Okay. So we have Biff. Let me kind of fix this a little bit for you. Okay. So I don't want to take this out just yet. He's got the it's got the almanac there. It's got the face go really done, done really, really well. Another face go where he's yelling at Marty. It's nice. Looks like they kind of messed up on the paint, like somebody was painting, and you got their fingerprints on here. So, kind of messed up on that, but this is really nice. This is really nice. Really, really like that. Put the almanac in there. Uh, I'll probably, when I do it, I'll probably display him holding it. Um, and right here, auto store. That's a bill. And then, have a flyer for the, the dance. So that's cool. Neck is so awesome with their uh, their detail. It's awesome. Okay. Now for Marty. The moment I've been waiting for. This is like my number one want from this whole NECA line. With the Marty in the futuristic suit. I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to see how this hoverboard works out. 
Okay, so we've got the the canister that the um the Pepsi came in in the store. There's the futuristic Pepsi. Um, it's got an extra head scope. That's a replacement for this thing here, so that way you can stand on it. This is, I mean, well, Marty. He's got the, the jacket. Shoes, pretty dope. Yeah. Now these things is what I'm curious about. What is this? And then you have that. And let me see. Yeah, see, I knew it. That has to go. I'm guessing that goes under the bottom when you're ready to do the hover thing. There's that. hoverboard this is supposed to come out came out really easy and this I'm guessing does this either stays or either oh yeah there it goes pops out I don't know why what does it do if it's not there I guess this that's how the bottom was so you swap it out with this one kind of hear it pop in there and then can use this for it to flow. Nice. And then what we would do is we could take this one, lock it in there, and he can stand on it. You could have him. Now your hoverboard's hovering. It's pretty awesome. I like it. Okay, Marty. Uh, I apologize. I'm not taking them out because I need to uh, clean up some stuff. And like I say, I want to do a new setup, but I need. A, I'm supposed to be swapping out my bookcases pretty soon, so I can have uh, my figures on them. This is pretty nice. It doesn't come off or anything, but it's nice that they give you that dynamic to make it look like it it does come off. My only gripe is uh, his hat. I, w I wish it had more colors. Honestly, it's got uh, it's got pink on there. It's purple, yellow, but the hat was like a rainbow. So I would really like it to have more colors on there. Um, if I was a good painter or something, I'd probably customize it and add my own colors to it. But overall, I'm happy. I think this is awesome. I don't know why they included this. I don't see a scenario where I put the Pepsi in there and, and use it. Um, but I'm happy, man. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Really happy with it. Jeans. Look at the pockets. Look at the lights on the side of the shoes. Dope. Look at the detail in the pockets. The jacket. Dope. The sleeves on the jacket. Yeah. Super happy with this. Alright. Let me know you guys uh, in the comments how you guys feel about it. Do you like these Back to the Future things that they came out with? Whether it's the Pops or the pops or the, the mecha figures um do you like the shirt let me know man let me know all right thank you for tuning in to no box damage my name is nessie and i will catch you guys in the next one peace